All right. Best Pat. Pit Boss. We've got the selection between Snake Charmer and Pit Prowess. Path. So Snake Charmer is top. Pit Prowess is bottom. But I bet you 5,000 bucks that everybody will pick top. I don't know why. I'll explain why my favorite path is bottom. Pit Pro S. Here are the pointers. There's actually just one move that's made that makes the other path so overpowered than anything. If there was PvP back in 2016, man, you would kill anybody with Pit Prowess. The other one, you would get killed if you take the Snake Charmer path. No questions asked. And I got a feeling PvP will be coming in a big way. So we need those spad guides out and the right ones for you guys. Statistics are my fourth favorite S word. I don't have ownership. Serpent and slither, of course. Over my pit boss. That was weird. What about my other legendary pit boss? I actually messed up. I put the wrong path on my legendary. But I'm gonna reset him anyways and put him on the right. So, okay, I got ownership. All right, let's do this. Enough of me talking. Let's go for the goods. Here it is. Fourth favorite S. And by far, if you don't own Serpent and Pit Boss, of course. If you don't own Pit Boss. He's a must-own, must-buy character. He's just so epically overpowered. He's actually even more fun than playing with the Imaginators because he is so powerful and really fun. Too bad they don't go up higher than 20, but let's go. Snake attack, press square to launch ghostly snake attack. Slittering soul snake, press and hold circle to turn into a snake. Viper pits. Press triangle to create viper pits that damage enemies and make your square attacks. Is by pressing square do do more damage and travel faster. Do damage around when when you're releasing. Press circle. Do damage around when you're releasing. All right. Pit master. Viper pits slow the enemy downs and they will always take critical hits. You can also make them make one more viper pit. Slither away, carry enemies with you when you're turning into a snake with circle. So by far, I'm pretty much sure that everybody has picked the Snake Charmer path. Because uh, right here, the more enemies you carry with circle, the more damage you will do. That's pretty much it. This is just a waste of move. Leave or remain behind barrier when transforming back from circle. It's just so stupid. It just stays there as it makes a barrier. Doesn't damage the enemy. Doesn't do anything. This pat is a no-go. Because what this pat offers, it does more damage. But who cares? You can still do the snake and carry around people. The thing what I do is I carry around the people and I put them next to my Viper Pit and it's just insanely better than anything else. So Pit Prowess, here we go. This is why. Viper will shoot out of Viper Pits when they expire and damage enemies. They shoot out so much snakes, you could just spawn Viper Pits all over the screen and you clear out the screen. It is really fun. Jumping while in snake form creates a viper pit. You can now make up to three of them. I pretty much don't jump, but sometimes I do. There we go. Vipers will continuously escape the viper pits and damage enemies. That's just awesome. You want the pit prowess pat over anything else. Then you have the amazing soul gem. Really creative, really good. Epic move, release circle while coiled in slittering soul snake to unleash a giant undead snake head. He comes out of the ground just giant eating everybody on the screen. It's really cool, very overpowered. And this Sky Chi kicks ass no matter what because a lot of figures I could just point out in their Sky Chi, they suck. What's the point of pointing a crappy Sky Chi? 
This clears a whole screen every single time. The ultimate sensei attack, hold R2 to perform the Viper Voli Sky Chi power. All right, enough of me talking. Battle. You guys could see it. I could show the other pad. I have it on my legendary. I'm actually gonna reset my legendary and put him exactly like my regular. There's not really a point. The, the other pad doesn't show much. Doesn't do. I, I I'll do it anyway. I'll just play with it. He's just gonna not on the Viper oh, Piss won't unleash all these battle. snakes there as really much as the other one. Like I was saying, on the Pit Prowess Pat, bottom is best all the way. Look at this. You just spawn them like that and you just dance around. You can't do that on the other pack. No, sir. Oh, wow, Chill Bill. It is a pretty bad day to be a bad guy. Okay, let's do the Soul Gem, which is really epic. Booyah. He's just... Whoever created this, man, this is a must-own, must-buy character, no questions asked. After upgrading him all the way, both of my pit boss are level 20, so... I'm actually gonna reset the other one. So you get the picture? Pretty easy. Just spawn Viper Pits. There you go. Walk away and wait for it. You don't have to do anything. Boom. See? So you gotta buy this monster because he's epic. Alright, let's do Sky G Insane. Really can't bug, guys. It's really kind of ironic when you think about it. I'm sorry, but nobody beats that. I wish there was PvP again to make a fight against him. Well, let me spawn some Viper Pits and just walk away. More Viper Pits! Walk away. You could also spawn Viper Pits, turn around these big guys in snake form. He's out of there. There we go. He's invincible. There's no no other way to say it. You know the Skylanders were heavily favored going into this battle, and it's starting to look like the odds makers had it right. I think that really. Honestly, there's really no point of showing you the other bat. It's really just. Not as good. There's no way. It's boring. And there's no point. It's just not as powerful as this. So guys, hope it helps you out. Have a great day. And I'll see you soon.